The concern by the Taliban was the fact that uh, uh, they didn't want to be s taken outdoors where they could be spotted either by other people or more, you know, in the eyes of the Taliban, they have this absolute obsession about American satellites and uh, so, you know, that they feel that they're under, a, which they most likely are, a satellite surveillance all the time. So it was very important that these captives be kept out of sight indoors and literally were only allowed to the toilet twice a day, apparently. Uh, they, uh, you know, talked about the, the difficulties they had in keeping their morale up, given that they were separated at times, uh, that they were not always together, that uh, Hervé Gekier had no idea about the extent of uh, uh, publicity that had been uh, sort of uh, organised on their behalf back here in France by his colleagues. Uh, but however, Stéphane Taponia, who did have access to a, a radio, had listened to Radio France Internationale and had realised that uh, this is what was happening. And as a result, they were able to keep their spirits high. And I think the, the most telling thing for those men was, as I say, the discussion with the Taliban, who made it very clear to them that their their goal was to rid the country of every foreigner, um, that they believed that this was the way to do it, uh, that they would pursue whatever measure necessary in order to ensure that every uh, non-native is uh, no longer living on Afghan soil. Annette, just very briefly, let's talk about the circumstances surrounding the release of these men. They're still very unclear, but there is a lot of speculation as to what exactly happened. Yes, and we're probably not going to hear that for at least a few days, if not weeks or months, as to the actual details of the, the package which, in, at the end of the day, secured their release. Now, Foreign Minister Alain Juppé said yesterday that no ransom was paid. That doesn't rule out other things being done. One is, which has been most likely mooted as the option, is uh, the prisoner swap deal. Now, this is something the Afghani government have been rather reluctant to pursue, uh, but I suspect as a result of pressure being placed on them by the French government in the end that they did agree to some sort of prisoner exchange release in order to secure the freedom of these two individuals. Uh, as well, uh, the, uh, the you know it was very interesting that Juppé yesterday in the press conference made a, a point to thank personally President Hamid Kazai, which I think is another indication that uh, they at the end had managed to sort of, you know, convince the Afghanis this was the way to go. In terms of money, whether in fact there was any money that was exchanged, I suspect if there was we won't know about that for a while.